Hey HHS, welcome to our last episode before our final show before the holiday break. I'm your host, Kel McEachern. Have you ever been checking out our Instagram account? Please do, because it's a great way to stay in touch with us, see what we're up to, and maybe even win some cool stuff. Here's our account, and also include on your stuff with the hashtag HHSTV for me. Now, our first video is to remind you about the coffee house coming up tomorrow. That is a fine time, and you should plan to be there. All right, question of the day time. Today, we're asking, if you could be any famous figure, who would you be? Um, I would probably live as Bob Ross for a day <laughs> because he paints pretty well and draws stuff that I can't draw. I want to be Benjamin Franklin. I want to be Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. I'd be Justin Bieber, and I'd collect all the money from the music I make. The President of the United States, for just for one day, so I can see everything that goes into being president. If I could be one famous person for a day, I would definitely be Santa, so I could see the nice list and the naughty list, and so I could have all these elves to do my work and eat a lot of cookies. And now for more calendar. Tonight, here at the HHS, there is a chorus and orchestra concert at 7 p.m., and next Wednesday, there is a student council meeting at 2 p.m. in the conference room A219. Moving on, it's time for a random fact of the day. Oh hey, I'm Nick Manser with your random fact of the day. Did you know that when hippos are nervous, they sweat red? Also, the sweat acts as a natural sunscreen. Gloria over here seems to be pretty calm, cool, and collect. That's disgusting. Now, I think it's time for a nature break. Back again with another nature segment. I'm Drew. And I'm Evan. And this is not grass. Looks like we got ourselves a wild animal. Let's go hunting. This is snow. It forms when it rains and it's cold out. It's pretty white. It gets you wet because it's basically water. This is what it looks like when you throw it against a wall. True? There are plenty of fun things you can do in the snow, like snowball fights. This is ice. It's pretty slick. Don't slip. Kids love playing in the snow. Great work out there. And now it's time to spend a minute with the student of the month and our very own Mr. David Nataki. David, what do you value most in the HHS community? A couple things. We got great teachers. They're fantastic. They love what they do. They love us as students. They really care about us. Two, they're great. Some great students here, really. Uh, you know, you get to bond with a lot of great people. I am honored. Thank you to all the teachers who uh, voted voted on me. Um, it is. I am humbled uh, by by this award. But uh, you know, it's 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 great to know that um, uh, I I am being the best version of myself, and it encourages encourages me to continue to be the best version of myself. Congrats on that, David. Next and lastly, it's time for Have You Seen This? This is a photo of last week's winner, Olivia. We're showing you this for motivation because no one won last week's contest. Okay then, this week for Have You Seen This? We are doing something a little bit different. I'm Mrs. Williams. I teach art history and love art history. So for this week's Have You Seen It? This is the image, this lovely image right here. If you think you know what culture or period this is from, email HHSTV and you could be randomly picked as the winner. If you need a little hint, it was made by, or the name of it that was given by a later person is a bit of a misnomer. Good luck and send us an email by next Tuesday telling us your answer and we'll pick a random winner from all the correct responses. Now that's a wrap for this episode. Check us out for past shows and web-only content, such as more anchor bloopers, because people seem to like those at hhs.today. Send have you seen this entries, complaints, or compliments, or tell us what we should be covering by sending mail to hhstv at hillers.org. 
For everyone at HHS Today, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.